Oh, did it. We'll see. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, oh, okay. cool. Yay. Woo! A little bit of panic there. Menacing Meow, you didn't know that was a thing? Menacing Meow's looking over at our Switch cartridges. You know what's <laughs> Go <funny>? try it. <laughs> I actually, like, I don't know which one of the Switch games we've clicked and which one we haven't. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which one. I know. I know. I know because I'm germaphobic. It was something directly out of the package yeah. when yeah. I licked it. <laughs> that is true. That is, is true. At the yes. other end of the pont au change. Pont au change will be very useful. My, uh, my son, Logan, um, sucked his thumb when he was little and we were trying to break him of the habit. And we tried one of those bitter tasting agents that you put on his thumbs. And like, he want, he actually, even when he was young, he wanted to stop sucking his thumb. Um, but he just couldn't, you know, it was habitual. So he was all eager to try the bitter agent on his thumb. Uh, to get him to stop and both he and uh, me and his mom realized it was a terrible idea because <laughs> we put it on he'd go to bed and then a couple hours into his sleep when he just instinctively and unconsciously puts his thumb in his mouth it jolts him awake because it tastes disgusting and then you just hear screaming and crying coming from his room <laughs> so that never worked what worked, for, what worked, though, was socks on his hands. Socks on his hands when he went to bed. That worked. Again, he wanted to quit, so it helped that he was on board with the whole I'm trying to stop, but I just can't stop thing. But whenever I think about those, like, bittering agents, I always think how that was just not the right idea. Valerie, you tried hot sauce for nails and she just ate it. How funny. Now you, you get the get the get the bitter stuff that they use for thumb sucking. She won't like that. The bishop's hook in combat. Okay, when he, he just fires it at an enemy, the target receives fulmination damage. Okay. And it uses your ammo. Seem like a very lethargic robot. We've got to get out of here quickly. We're in grave danger. These machines have neither heart nor mind. No mercy can be expected from them. And where do you hope to find refuge, mon cher voisin? The enemy is everywhere, and they take no prisoners. Can I? Like I mentioned this the other day, but why? Why do they do this? Why? Why? It's set in France, right? Why does everybody have an English accent? You saw the Pont Neuf collapse into the they scene even just as well as speak I... French words ah, in between their English accents. That was a spectacle I won't soon forget. I can tell you the truth. I'm very happy I managed to escape with my life. Three imposters, I think that's what it is. Yep. I think you're right. Vous ne comprenez pas. 
If the automats aim to cut off Il Delicite from the rest of the city, the bridge we're standing on will Yeah, the, the developers the are located place. in Paris. You'd think they'd they get... Yeah, yeah, you'd think they would do that. Retreat. But it's not the only really medium that's done that. Why would they have to put up barricades to prohibit access to the Chatelet from this bridge? I hope you're right, Monsieur jean -Pierre. I hope you're right. I mean, even Jean-Luc Picard, right? <laughs> he's from France. <laughs> and he's got an English accent. Didn't he start with Shakespearean acting? No, I mean the character. The character that Patrick Stewart plays. <clears throat> is French. And yet, I gave him an English accent. Yeah. I'm just saying, in general, I'm not, I'm not picking out just this game or just Jean-Luc Picard. In general, there seems to be a lot of things that take place in France or have French characters, but they are, they have English accents. And I think probably has something to do with like, you know, either Americans or English or, uh, you know, English speakers in general just prefer hearing or are used to hearing an English accent when it comes to certain, like, period or historical things and not a French accent? I don't know. Yeah. It's just interesting. Some people struggle to understand French accents. Yeah, it's true. I mean, it depends on how thick it is, but yeah. All right, so we can come back up here because there's a grappling hook. These are 100%. French characters, rabbit. Ah! Ah! Mommy! Yeah, they have the Marquis de Lafayette, Robespierre, and other historical French folk. So is anywhere to go over here? Can I go? I guess I can try to go here. Underdark, you don't like it when the movie's set in France or any other country. They speak English with the French or any other accent. Speak French or speak English. <clears throat> well, I mean, I understand them not wanting to have the whole thing subtitled, you know? Some people don't like that at all. The sewers. Is that where I want to go? 
don't know. Let's see what's over here. You would have liked it to be in French with English subtitles. Well, you probably can do that. Right? Let's see. Is there... Is there language? Huh. There's no other languages? You can do a French text. Does that change the voiceover, though? Probably not, right? I'm surprised. Oh good, frost grenades. No! Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Yeah, I think I think it comes down to a choice like well, okay, so we're gonna have English voiceover, right? So we know we're gonna do that. So so what do we do? And they go with, you know, if you go for like an American accent, that would sound really out of place, right? French accent's probably harder to understand. Um, so they, yeah, they probably, that's probably why they just do the mix of English, English accent with some French words thrown in. Most games, the subtitles are the same as the language selected. So do you think it'll have... Do you think it'll change the language to French if we do French words? Yeah, but then I can't understand them. So that doesn't really work. It would be great to have language be French and then with English subtitles. Try that, yeah. about it we often play a Japanese game we don't want to have a Japanese accent yeah but we they don't put an English accent in those games either you know I don't know it's just it's an interesting it's interesting to 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 notice and to at the very least like understand that the devs have to think about these type of things and figure out what works best for their game Final Fantasy 14 does that a lot? What do you mean? Does what a lot? See, the thing with Final Fantasy XIV, though, is it's not set in France. <laughs> I think that's the difference. <laughs> like, they can have British accents all they want in Final Fantasy XIV. It's not actually set in France. <laughs> Safe passage.
Do do do. Goldman, so you always see the English accent as the way the characters would understand each other. Like they are speaking French to each other, not English, but with an accent. But then understanding French is like you understanding. It. It's it's like what they do in Star Trek, right? We we just hear them through the Universal Translator, right? They don't. They're not actually saying those words. That's just how we hear them with the translator. But you know, you got to suspend your disbelief a little bit. Yeah. You wonder how many French English speaking voice acting groups are out there. Maybe it's too expensive or hard to get. Yeah, I mean, the, the one reason I, I bring it up for this game specifically is because the dev team is in France. It's a game that's set in France. You would think that they would have French accents. But I think it comes down to just they want the game to resonate well with a wide variety of audiences. And I think people would be less... Well, or understand it more, I guess. Or easier. If they have British accents. <clears throat> a Jersey accent would be so great in this game. Yeah, it would be great. It would be good. Uh, Bismuth blocks. So I can't find any of those. Yeah, everyone speaks common. That's right. All right, where do we want to go? They're robots, so they pick up an accent. My mate, my character has an accent. Yeah, there are there are humans during the cutscenes. Yeah, and there's actual like historical figures like the Marquis de Lafayette and uh, Robespierre. These are all historical French figures. I can't get that loot because this guy. Oh, there we go. Uh huh. That guy was twerking. What else is here? This game is in the 1780s. I think so. It's an alternate. It's an alternate universe. France during the French Revolution. Yeah. It's like if France <laughs> created automatons capable of destruction during that period what would have happened it's a what if oh hello I would tell a joke about pizza, but it's a little cheesy. Go got a troll. Tell it anyway. Thanks, Dropper. Thanks for the 29. I hope you're doing well. According to Google 1789, yeah.
turned on automatically? Yeah. And then is, is it asking you stuff? It just it says, welcome, a whole bunch of different languages. Choose on. French. No. Uh, did you turn it off? Yeah. You turned it off? Yeah. Okay. It's charging. It's yeah. Let it charge. Whenever you get a new device, do you always like... Like there's that setup period that you need to do and I'd never want to make mistakes during the setup, you know? It's always, there's always minor stress. It was like when Azari and I got new phones together and she do, she was doing the setup and she, <laughs> she wound up linking my account to her phone. And then all my stuff imported into her phone. And it was after she already did my phone. So she had to change it all. And it's just like your brand new device now has all the context, all the pictures, all the history of the wrong phone. And you're like, oh no. It's a replacement lever. Okay, cool. This might be useful. Oh, look at that. They put loot up on the chandelier. Missed it by this much. So you mean you got two new phones? Yeah. She got it all straightened out, but she still has, um, she still has like my super old pictures on her phone. She was actually looking through them the other day. Finding pictures of Snapples and stuff like that on there. I can't. Okay, good. Essence of a noble spirit. Come on. She could have gotten up there. Unlock. The gate is locked by a mechanism. Aha. Uh -huh. I can repair it with this lever I found. Your mom came over a week ago and ordered pizza. She asked for Hawaiian. I like pineapple on pizza, but I don't like the Hawaii, I don't like Hawaiian pizza. Like I don't want the ham on there. And isn't there a different cheese as well? Um. Anybody else that find this, like your mom after you, or your mom or your dad, your parents uh, after you are older and have moved out for a while, they completely forget the things that you like and don't like. And then they act all like shocked. <laughs> like, what do you mean you don't like that Hawaiian pizza? That's my favorite. You've had that happen, Evil Twin Link? They just, they just don't know what you like anymore. Uh, Sparkwood, you're predicting this is going to be an over 100 hour game for you? How goes it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Ooh, I found some notes. Bye. What? You're just asking? No, I was just asking. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, because you made a comment. You read Sparkwood's comment out loud. Yeah. And it made me question if something happened. Oh, no. Just asking. No. You make your own Hawaiian pizza and you love it, Marauder? I mean, I wouldn't hate... What, what do they normally put on Hawaiian pizza uh, besides the ham and the pineapple? That's Is, it. Isn't there a cheese? Different cheese? 
maybe provolone, but that I, I wouldn't imagine that's normal. As if it's just as, ham and pineapple, I'd probably be okay with it. But. As far as I know, it's just it's just ham and pineapple. But I think there are some places that would put provolone on it. I like Hawaiian pizza with hot sauce. You like anything with hot sauce. You that, can have cardboard with hot sauce. That is, that is true. I will say that. Yeah. That is true. You don't think it has a different cheese usually? Okay. Okay. If it's just ham and pineapple... I could eat it, but I yeah. just, I just like normal, just pineapple. Yeah, I but, think I'm going to leave. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's okay. Sorry. You're allowed to talk. I was going to talk more about pizza. Go ahead. <laughs> By order of the king, I ask each of you to provide the Comte de Calistro with your unconditional cooperation and to provide him with anything he may wish to take away or consult. That's the police. <laughs> Now crush macadamia nuts, Marauder. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> 